This is an Ellis Mowers and More small engine vlog. Stay connected on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers and More. Comments or questions? Leave them below or email me, ellis at ellismowers.com. And as always, like and subscribe for more small engine content. Well, it has been a minute since I've done a mower find video here on the channel i appreciate y'all watching we're gonna go pick up well this video is gonna entail two mower finds they're both free one of them's already at home the other one's a little bit of a mystery so uh y'all we got the big trailer behind me y'all seen the uh gravely videos on the channel as well um, I put both of the Gravely's, my Husqvarna rider, and that Ryan sod cutter all in this 6x14 trailer. So, quick trailer update. That's, uh, this thing's working beautifully. I still wish I had a smaller trailer for small jobs, but uh, this thing's paying for itself in terms of me not having to make a bunch of trips. Back to the mowers, though. One of them at home I got from my friend. It's a 54-inch Cub Cadet. Um, he, he's gotten his money's worth out of that mower, and, uh, he, uh, I guess wanted to just move on because he's got a John Deere Zero turn, didn't want to deal with the hassle of trying to sell it somebody, to somebody with the issues that it has. So I'll show you all those issues when we get back home. This free mower, I have been told, it's about 20 minutes away. It's a John Deere, John Deere, that's been sitting for seven years. That's all I know about it. So we're gonna see what is what this thing is. Um, it's actually from somebody who I used to go to church with, and her, I believe it's her sister who passed away a few years ago, and the mower's been sitting since. So. Uh, we're gonna see what it is. It could be like an L100. It could be like a LX277 or something. You don't never know. So let me get over here. I'll see what it is when we get. When I know what it is, I'll uh, hop back here or here in the truck and I'll let you know what it is. And then I'll show you the two mowers when we get home. All right. So mower turned into a mower and a rear tire and tiller. I'll show it to y'all when we get home. It's an LT150 John Deere. Uh, for the, considering the fact that it's been sitting about seven years, the battery's from 2014, it is not bad. The biggest thing currently is that the steering is uh, locked up. So, But the uh, tie rods and the, uh, looks like the spindles around the wheels are actually free. So it's something locked up in the actual steering shaft itself. Hopefully I can get it knocked out Again, this is probably going to be cleaning out the fuel system, uh, probably cleaning out the entire fuel system, making sure that everything is free on the, uh, on the spindles and stuff. The bonus though, big bonus here, is that Craftsman rear tie and tiller. I'll let y'all see that. It's in uh, probably a mid-2000s model, really in good shape, and that actually was sitting underneath um a shelter so it uh it's going to clean up and it's basically going to look like almost new so i'll get home and we'll show you i'll show you this first since y'all are probably the most curious about this and then i'll show y'all the uh 54 inch cup set so we'll start with this one for those curious i figured y'all would be about this one the most john deere lt150 and in the back of the truck is a mostly complete hood, mostly. Uh, part, of, part of the bottom is broken off and the uh, hood brackets, obviously, because they all will break. But you can put it on there and it looks like a complete mower, so that's great, fantastic. Never get one that has a hood in that good a condition, so that's good to see. Kohler Command 12 and a half, 38 inch deck. It does have the hydrostatic transmission in it. Here's the battery. Look at this, a John Deere battery, 2014. Bunch of rust on the ground cable. 
corrosion. Yeah. Corrosion on that cable. Those two cables are easy to replace, though. Probably two cables of solenoid. I mean, this thing's going to need the works because it's been sitting for about seven years. But, like I said, steering is frozen up. That's probably just getting something freed up there because uh, these are free. So, it's something underneath the tractor. Engine has compression. It's got the two pedal hydrostatic. Those are kind of, those are nice to have. Uh, rear tires have tubes in them. Front tires don't. Front tires have held enough air for now. Or does this one have one? No, neither of the front tires have tubes on them. That one's going down pretty quickly. I think ATF might fix both of the front tires. Don't think it has any oil in it. I think it's leaked it all out of the sump or the valve cover or something like that. So I wouldn't expect it to have oil for that amount of time. May have leaked it out of this. So I might have to tighten that up reseal the valve cover free up the deck i mean it ain't like i'm just gonna turn the key and go on this thing mowing reverse button right there that probably will uh not survive my repairs those mowing reverse buttons are just on the john deere's could be a better design and uh so that's this i mean look even the seat there's one crack right there with a little bit of moss in it but for a mower that sat outside for seven years i think it sat under a tarp which helped not bad at all i think the lt50s they were made sometime in the early 2000s they were the last like true john deere lawn tractor dealer lawn tractor before they started selling them at Lowe's with the L100s and stuff, and then the quality started to go down, even though John Deere still made them. Uh, this, on the other hand, was a surprise. And I've been looking at this, and part of me thinks that this tiller has never seen gas. We're going to find out. Um, look at the air filter and everything too we'll do that on this video because i don't think i'll need to do much we're gonna try and start this thing i looked in here i don't know how well the light is but look at that gas tank if you smell inside it it just smells like plastic it doesn't even smell like old gas varnish or anything it's still got the tag on the front it's a 2006 model 030806 and look what came with it. Oh, Sears bag. Shear pins. Everything owner's manual wise for this. It's a little 14 inch rear time tail. Even a troubleshooting guide as to what you need to do. All in the bag on the back of this. All the cables are free. I'll show it to y'all. This actually is the most interesting find of all three of them today. So that's that. I don't know how the condition of the belt is. I know obviously it's old, but it doesn't feel worn out. Tires obviously are flat too from sitting, but we're going to air them up. They're really not even that dry rotted because this actually was sitting under a shelter as opposed to sitting outside. So that's awesome. We're gonna te we're gonna test this out to end the video. I honestly think that this thing may start, and uh, once I clean it up, we might have a basically brand new twenty year old or uh, what would it be twenty twenty three seventeen year old tiller here to sell, and it'll bring good money. So that's awesome. These guys said that whenever I get this fixed, let them know they might use it. I told them, I said, probably going to be like a $400 mower when they finish with them. I'll give you a better deal, obviously, because they gave it to me. Um, she's like, no, just sell it to us like you'd sell it on Marketplace. So we'll see. We might already... You're not going to see this on the channel for a while, but you'll see it uh, sooner rather than later, I think. The mower pile is growing. But the next thing we're going to do is check out that. And this is a running and driving Cub Cadet. Uh, my friend from college gave this to me. I just don't think he wanted to deal with the trouble of trying to sell it and low ballers and stuff like that. He bought this, a trade, because I went with him to buy it. He bought this, 
a um, yard vac and what was it an edger i think he got all three items for 550 dollars. that was eight years ago he got eight seasons out of this thing and uh i personally think he did pretty good he's had to do a little bit of maintenance and stuff to it along the ways and uh like i said he got all that for 550 dollars this is a perfectly running and driving mower when he got it still is a perfectly running and driving mower for the most part it's a gt 1554 cup cadet it's got the hood you know the front raise hood on it so it's got the 54 inch cut deck the uh big garden tractor type tires on it and uh it's a little bit dirty because he hasn't had any room inside uh, a garage or anything to really keep it. It used to stay under a porch before they moved to another house, and then he had to keep it outside just because he lost some porch slash garage space. Uh, big issue, probably the biggest issue, is the deck is rusting. This seems like it's common that these rust right here on all the cub cadets i think let's see so the blades will turn like this but i think what happens is you uh spray a bunch of grass right here on the front of it because <clears throat> it happened to this one too the one i've got to put it, another one i got to put an engine in same deal right there it's a common seems like a common occurrence but uh a couple other rust spots he kind of worked on it got a little spot right there on the edge you might see if we can cover it up with some metal weld a little bit of patches and stuff in it and uh we'll see uh what it is going on here big 27 horsepower kohler courage uh going on batteries from 2017 it will start and run with a jump he did say that the right side cylinder is uh giving them trouble part of me thinks that maybe the uh i think this may have the 12 volt ignition system on it so i'm wondering if one of the coils is kind of getting a little wonky on it and uh going out so i might i don't know i don't have any money in it so that leaves me a little bit of money to play around if i want to convert this over to the um regular coil setup it's about 120 dollars to do that but if that's all i really need to do and patch this deck up in order for it to to look pretty decent it'll fetch probably a good 54 inch cut 700 dollars or so because those colors are pretty reliable uh some of the better engines you can get it does have the uh a little bit of tie rod play it does track straight whenever you're driving straight obviously you see that that is the way that it is currently with i backed it off of the truck so uh yeah well see if we can get this one turned around get it get it gone by spring uh like i said he just didn't want to deal with low ballers and trying to sell it with the issues that it has uh because he just wanted to get it out of the yard so uh he's like come get it here it is in addition to i've lost count even though i've cleaned out like five or six of them five or six riders from the beginning of the year or from the end of the season still got a few more to go we're going to pare some things down and uh see what we can get fixed here uh pretty easily so let me get this tiller off let's see if i can put some gas in it and see if it'll crank up and then we'll wrap this video up and by the way i don't think i'm going to film this a video on this i just want to show it to you while it's here this is a 455 john deere all-wheel steer from a guy who lives just up the street this mower i don't know how long he's had it was given to him yeah this you know what the 455s are three cylinder diesel and all that stuff plus the all-wheel steer how much was this mower new plus how much is it still worth uh the only thing it's got going on he said is something with the hydraulics i don't think it's the hydraulics he's had a bunch of stuff done with the steering and whatnot with hydraulic pumps i honestly think it's just the uh adjustment on the deck here on the back is a little too low because it won't raise the deck up any more than i think that right there yeah so i it's a manual adjustment just like a regular lawn tractor and i think that it uh it just needs to be 
adjusted back up. No video on this, I don't think, unless there's going to be something bigger. Uh, just wanted to show it in here because I've had some cool stuff in here lately. Uh, Y'all seen the videos of the Gravely's, the Ryan sod cutter. We're really, uh, really expanding our horizons here. So uh, just wanted to show that while it was in here. We'll get the tiller off now. All right, further evidence. Look at this. Here's the pre-filter. And there's the air filter. This thing is a time capsule. I can't believe it. This thing, I'm almost 100% sure this thing has never been used before. Which is something else. Wow. Get a little bit of dirt, get that dirt gauger stuff, dirt or whatever you want to call it, out of there. That is amazing. Just want to show that to y'all. Oh, I messed up the pre-filter a little bit, but wow. How about that? We'll probably let the pre-filter probably start disintegrating, so we're just gonna I'll remove it. But uh let's start it. Well, gas is in it. Will it run? I think it will. Let's see. Throttle's frozen. Let me get the throttle unstuck. That's amazing. Let's see if I can get this throttle unstuck. That's going to require me to take off the air filter and throw a little lubricant in there, uh, which actually I have right here. Let's do that on camera. First pull. This thing's been sitting in a shed for 20 or 17 years. Not even in a shed, under like a little awning. And it started. How about that? Spray a little bit of lubricant on the top here. Everything's just a little bit. Little bit. Not seized, but. Frozen up. Here's the governor on this thing. Back there. If we can get it freed up, we'll be good. That's all it needs is the governor freed up. That'd be something else. Let's see. There it is. I know it ain't got a governor issue. It may require a little bit more than I need than I can show on camera. So once I get all that linkage and stuff freed up, I'll get right back with y'all. A little bit of lube and some pliers. Ta-da. Everything's freed up. So, let's let this thing run on its uh, 
made in void. I couldn't imagine. You bought us. You bought something 17 years ago, and uh, never used it. Pretty amazing. And even idols. Wow. <laughs> tiller running in the background i'm going to give that thing a wash there is somebody who may be interested in buying it because he did ask me about a tiller last week actually and uh, i'll see if that is something that he is wanting uh it is a little it does have a little bit of a stumble on it i put a little bit of small engine pro in there just to see if it'll clear up hate to have to pull that carb off uh and clean it just because uh, number one, the age. Number two, how long it was sitting. And number three, uh, I just, you know, it runs good as it is. Just that little stumble on it. But we'll see what it, we end up needing to have to do to that. So, it's funny because what ended up turning in, what ended up being what I thought was a two free riding mower video turned into a free tiller that was brand new that had never had any gas put in it i'm still kind of baffled and surprised i mean i've still got the shear pins the owner's manual and everything for it i can't believe it this thing i wish i did, i wish i could have showed a video of it um the house where this was had been abandoned for seven years and this was sitting like briar patches and everything that they had hacked down just so that we could carve a little pathway to get their little shed back in the, the little shed back in the back there which is where this was sitting underneath the cover and uh here we are an hour after me picking it up and it's running here in the driveway i mean who would have thought uh who would have thought i don't really have much words for it but thank you all for joining me on this video uh and we'll uh We'll get into these other two mowers here in future videos and in repair videos. So, y'all have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.